Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a link to a Google Meet that never changes. Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a link to a Google Meet that never changes. Why would you want to do this? For example, if you wanted to have office hours from a certain time and you always wanted to be able to have students quickly join that Google Meet without you sharing out a link every single day or every single time you have it, we can create a link that never changes. So you can email it to the students and say, I'm going to be in this Google Meet from three to four every day. You click on it and we can have a discussion. For you, if your office hours was three to four on certain days, you would go click on the link, join the Google Meet, and then just mute your mic and turn off your camera and just stick it off to the side so you can do other work because if a student shows up, you'll hear them enter the room. So how do we do that? I'm gonna go down here. Normally, you go to Google, meet.google.com, join or start a meeting, and you can put a nickname in here. Collins Office Hours. And other people can then join that meet with that Collins Office Hours. Well, that's a pain because they have to type in Collins Office Hours. They might misspell it or there's got to be a better way. And there is. If you go to meet.google.com slash look up and then a nickname for the room. Now it's auto filling Collins office hours because I've been practicing. You can name it anything you want. I can name it the Collins great room. I can name it Dragon Ball Z. You can name it whatever I want and then share that link with my students. So when I join it, there's the nickname for it, Collins Office Hours. I can turn off my camera, mute my microphone, and join it. Now, this is the important part right here. Meeting nickname can only be used within educate.me. That's my domain here that I'm testing this with. This lookup links will only work for staff and students accounts in a G Suite for education domain in Google. This will not work with personal Google accounts. You have to have a G Suite account. And if you're a Google school, you probably already have it. So I, for our practice here, I've in this meet, and if a student, we'll just open up a new tab. If a student goes to that link, it'll show them that my training user is already in the call. That's my username that I was using for this. And then they can join and you can start talking to them after they join. So it's meet slash lookup slash whatever you want. This is also the mechanism that Google Classroom uses with this meet link. Meet.google.com slash lookup slash, and then it gives you a random set of letters and numbers. You can still use that one. I like using the named nickname that I made up because it's easier for students to remember and also, if I'm teaching several classes, I can have office hours for all my classes at once without having several different meets open. So that's how you create lookup links to quickly jump into a nicknamed Google Meet. If you like this video, hey, hit the like button. Also, head on over to educate.me, sign up for my newsletter, and check out some of the stuff I posted over there. Stay classy.